In problem number three, our problem says, find the dimensions of the largest rectangular garden that can be enclosed by 60 meters of fencing material. Now, how do we solve this one? Okay, now we see that the rectangular garden is enclosed with a 60 meter fencing material. If we say fencing material, it's only this one outside. And remember, the fencing is called perimeter. The one inside refers to the area. Since we are just talking about a fencing material, then this 60 meters is the perimeter of the whole rectangular garden. Now, remember the formula in solving for the perimeter? It is... You add all, right? So we say twice the length plus twice the width. Simple as like this. Length, length, width, and width. So two lengths, like length plus length, and two widths. Width plus, times, uh, plus width. Now, we didn't know the length and the width, so we could start representing. We say, let X be the width and let Y be your length. Or you can do the other way around. Let X be your length and let Y be your width. Now, what do we do? We substitute it to our perimeter. What's our perimeter again? The fencing material, that's 60. So 60 equals twice the length plus twice the width, two times x. Now, if we divide them all in terms of two, to simplify, we say we have 30 equals y, plus x, or we could write it as x plus y equals 30. Now we need to write it in function of y. Remember we have our function, that's y. So we'll move x to the other side. We have y equals 30 minus x. So this is now our y. Let's substitute again. Now this time, we are looking for the largest rectangular garden. How will you know it's the largest? If the area is at its largest. So it means that we'll be solving for the area. Remember, what is our width? X, right? Our width is X. What is our length? Y. What's the value of our Y? There, 30 minus X. So let's start solving for the area. Let me write it again. Our width, right? Our width is X and our length is 30 minus X. That is our length. Let's solve for the largest area. Remember, when we solve for the area, that will be length times width. So the length, you multiply it by the width, x. Let us distribute it. 30 times x, 30x x times negative x, you have negative x squared. This is now our area. So with that, our a is negative 1, and our b is 30, our c is 0. Now we are looking for the largest area. If you say largest, it's the same as 
the maximum. What is the maximum area? So we are looking for, again, we are looking for our vertex, HK. So let us solve. HK is equal to negative B over 2A and 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. At a substitute, we have negative 30 over 2 times negative 1. That will be 15. The other is 4 times negative 1 times 0. That's 0. Minus 30 squared. That's 900. Divided by, divided by negative 4. We'll have 225. It's the same as the first problem, right? Now, how do we interpret this? 15 and 225. Remember, the first one is our x. What's our x again? It's the width. So 15 meters. And this one, 225, is your y. What is our y? This one. Our y here represents our area. So the largest area for the garden is 225 square meters. What are the dimensions? 15 for the width and for the length, 30 minus 15. The answer will be 15 meters also. So we say that the dimensions of the largest rectangular garden is 15 meters in width and 15 meters in length. 